and this enduring righteously today we're going to be talking about a very timely subject it's on the subject of spiritual stagnation now stagnation you see this in nature when water becomes stagnant or is basically no longer moving as you see right here in this stagnant pond picture that i'm showing you but how does this relate to spiritual stagnation and the question you need to be thinking about when it comes to yourself and your spiritual walk and journey with yahua through yahusha is are you spiritual Spiritually stagnant right now. Now, this is a question, although it's a rhetorical question, this is something that you really need to think about and pray about when it comes to this subject. And the reason I'm talking about this is because, again, folks, part of the reason that you're on this walk and journey with Yahuwah is so that you can grow, is so that you can become the best version of you, and so that you can really have a real relationship with Yahuwah through Yahusha by getting to know his name, by getting to know his ways, and by learning his law, statutes, and commandments that are outlined in the first five books of the scriptures. However, that goes beyond just that. And again, growing in Yahuwah goes beyond just knowing his name. It goes beyond just knowing that we are the true people of scripture. There's more layers to this than just that. And honestly, this is more so a reflection video because this video is really asking you really internally, well, how are you growing in Yahuwah? How are you growing in Yahusha? Are you hearing his voice? Are you able to distinguish his voice? Are you hearing the voice of the Ruach HaKadush, commonly known as the made apart spirit? Are you being obedient to that voice? Because remember, like the word says, obedience is better than offering. So it's one thing to hear his voice. It's one thing to hear and meditate on his word. But are we actually doing and putting that into action? That is the thing that we really need to be focusing on and thinking about right now. And really, where are you in your spiritual walk and journey? Have you grown over the past how many years since you've been with Yahuwah, since you've learned about his name, and since you've been brought to this channel by Yahuwah, I'm assuming, how have you grown? How has that shaped you? How have you grown? What areas have you grown in? Are you more forgiving? Are you more patient? Are you more loving with others? Or maybe are there some areas in your spiritual kaya that you need to work on or that you need to grow in or that you know that you need to get better in? Now, of course, we're not, of course, saying be 100% perfect or that perfectionism spirit. Yes, Yahusha does say to be perfect, but what that word means in the Yahudith is to be complete or whole, not this standardized, modernized word that means perfect in the English today. So prayerfully you understand that, but really folks, really do an internal check. Really look within yourself and see how have you grown spiritually in Yahuwah through Yahusha? Have you not grown at all? If not, what are some ways that you can grow and how can you improve and how can you get closer to Yahuwah? Maybe you need to pray more. Maybe you need to fast more. I'm not sure whatever it is. Maybe Yahuwah has been pressing something on you. Maybe Yahuwah has been urging you to do something. Maybe Yahuwah is urging you to take a step of Amuna belief. Maybe he's been urging you to do this for a very long time. Maybe he wants you to quit that job and maybe he has a new job in store for you. I don't know what it is, folks. Again, this is a personal conversation between yourself and Yahuwah that you need to be having if you already have not had it. Again, maybe Yahuwah for the past how many years has been leading you and your family to do something else, to maybe move to a new location, maybe move to a new house, maybe to step on belief Amuna and just drop everything and go with Yahuwah, Yahusha. But will you do that? Have you been making excuses? Remember, for those of you who've been on this network for a long time now, remember we did a Scriptures Often Ignore video on this very thing about what? about coming out of your comfort zone, getting out of your comfort zone. Because again, if you're not careful, if you stay rooted in a comfort zone, it will cause you to what? become stagnant and you will no longer want to grow. And again, I'm using this verse right here for a reason where it says Proverbs 27 verse 17, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. And folks, that is the purpose of this channel. That is the point of this channel. Yahuwah has been using me to be able to get out his word on this channel over the years. But what I've been noticing what's been happening lately is this. The word goes forth, but then there are wolves in sheep's clothing who are going to say otherwise. Then there are government agents who are going to say otherwise and do otherwise. And they are supposed to because, again, that's what his word said. Yahusha already told you and warned you that there would be many wolves in sheep's clothing. But did you heed the warning to what he was saying? 
That's why Yahua led me a long time ago to do that Living Righteously video about what YouTube is the new church and how we warn specifically not to be just listening on YouTube to what people are saying when it comes to the word and through right and everything, but for you to really go into the word yourself to really see and confirm if what they're teaching on YouTube and even what this network is teaching is it confirming in the word? Is it confirming with what Yahweh is saying? Is it confirming and are you growing in it? If not, then you really need to take a look at your surroundings and the people around you and the world around you and the environment around you too. And I'm going to say this too, when it comes to fellowshipping and physical fellowshipping folks, that if you are around people and deep down, you know internally that you are not growing among them spiritually, then you know that it is time to move on and you do not have to feel guilty about it. You do not have to feel ashamed about it. You do not have to be on your feelings and emotions about that because again, what is the enemy trying to do? Remember we did a video on mind elevation, a living righteously video about that where we told you that if you elevate your mind to a certain point to what? To think the things of Yahusha, the enemy cannot get there. There's a reason why serpents cannot survive in the mountains at a high altitude because they simply cannot survive there. So it's the same thing. The enemy cannot enter your mind if you are elevating your mind to a point where you're not allowing the enemy to get there. It's the same thing even spiritually. It's the same thing even physically. If you are around people who are spiritually bringing you down, or if you are around people who spiritually are just not at your level, then you have to be careful because what that will then do is that could cause you to become spiritually stagnant with Yahuwah Yahusha. And yes, that even includes people in the walk too. Because again, I know that there are many different doctrines out there. There's the doctrine about when the Sabbath is. Some observe it based on the lunar Sabbath. Some observe it based on sun up to sundown. Some do it from sundown to sundown. Again, there are all these different doctrines out there. Even when it comes to the name, some call on Yahuwah Yahusha. Some use other variations thereof. All I'm trying to tell you you is that you need to be rooted in your beliefs and what you believe in and what Yahuwah has revealed to you already and what Yahuwah has confirmed to you already. Regardless if the entire masses believe it or not, regardless if the entire masses want to accept it or not, that is not for them. That is for you and Yahuwah and between you and Yahuwah. And if you allow Yahuwah to bring forth the right people who also share the same Amuna belief as you do and who are on your spiritual level, then Yahuwah will bring forth those people. But sometimes that could also mean letting go of other people who could be causing spiritual stagnation. And folks, let me just tell you this. On this network, I know that we talk about a lot of controversial subjects when it comes to the topic of Paul and whether or not Paul's words is scriptural, when it comes to the topic of a eunuch and homosexuality, when it comes to the true locations and where the real scriptural Yerushalam and Yasharal really truly are and if they are in so-called Palestine or if they are in southern Africa as it's known today. Now folks again you don't have to believe anything that's on this network. Again like I say in preface in almost every video especially the spiritual ones I don't want you to believe a word I'm saying on here because these are not my words these are the words of Yahuwah. I want you to go into his word and confirm to see whether or not it is true. I challenge I challenge you on these different subjects and topics. I challenge you to go to his word and see if it's true. I challenge you to pray to Yahuwah through Yahusha to see and confirm and get guidance and confirmation about whether or not the topics on this channel are in fact true or not. That's what I want you to do. That is really the word for you. Not just believe it because it's here, not just believe it or don't believe it, or have willful ignorance about it, or say, oh, what are you talking about that Paul's words aren't scriptural? No, I'm not going to believe that. Well, that is up to you because that is willful ignorance. And again, the truth is still the truth at the end of the day, and the truth does not need to defend itself. And again, so many people in this walk, they just want to stop at us so-called African Americans being the true people of scripture and Yah being the shortened version of his name. But this walk goes beyond just that. And again, I challenge you to even look deeper and search harder in the word because you're going to find some true gems indeed. But will you take the time to do that? Or will you choose to remain spiritually stagnant? That is up to you to decide. But again, as you're continuing to seek Yahuwah through his true son, Yahusha, prayerfully, you will continue to find the living waters, Yahusha, so that those living waters will flow in you and through you so that you will not become stagnant.